Hi guys, it's Valerie here. Welcome to my dining room. Well, that's actually the before. You're looking at some photos and footages that we captured when we moved into this house in 2015 and we started doing some DIY. Now, that is the fireplace that we have removed and we have replaced it with something that I dare say I think is spectacular. Although we still have a few trims here and there to apply, but both the fireplace wall and the fireplace, I think it looks pretty good. So I'm very excited to share with you guys. Don't leave now. Stick around. Stick with me and you will see the spectacular finish that I am so excited about. It's amazing the things you uncover when you go to renovate old homes, eh? You're doing a great job, honey. This fireplace around just had to go because it was crummy and it just wasn't in the right place. So had to go. My hubby has taken me this far and he's just allowing me to do a little demolition. So well, you started it then. <laughs> Opa! <laughs> downstairs that was a bad idea there thanks for sticking with me guys but before I reveal that spectacular fireplace and fireplace wall our sons chipped in to help hubby to finish getting rid of that field stone and concrete earth that was a chore to get rid of it was a very difficult one but stay tuned the reveal is coming up let me introduce you to our fireplace now i know that you can see that we have made massive changes but believe it or not this whole look here cost us under a hundred Canadian dollars from the mirror right down to the earth under a hundred Canadian dollars excluding the fireplace box now I will tell you exactly how we achieved this look and what we did so after we demolished the fireplace we had to clad the walls because it wasn't only the fireplace that was in this repair the whole wall was in this repair so we went ahead and we used um quarter inch our lawn ply to clad the walls and then i painted the paint that i used on the wall i actually bought mist tint paint and i combined colors 
to get the color that I wanted in here. So that's one way you guys can save when you're doing renovations. You can get mist tint paint and you buy them for a fraction of the price. And then you mix your own color if you want to save on paint. We went further to apply white moldings on the wall around the fireplace because the fireplace is white and so applying the white moldings on the wall just further help to accentuate that fireplace which is the star of the show so this is how we achieve this look by the way we we actually had to do a bunch of electrical in here and that's one of the reasons why we had to remove the fireplace also so we did some electrical and we installed this light above the fireplace and the medallion actually up there is made from a reused cabinet door so that's one use of your old cabinet doors you can reuse them to make a medallion for your ceiling like I did here. Getting back down here to the fireplace, we rescued this mantle and surround. When we were living in the city, I found online, I found where a house was gonna be torn down. We visited the property and the owners allowed us to um, rescue some stuff. So this fireplace, surround and mantle we literally got for free except elbow grease that's one way you can save when you're doing renovations just rescue some stuff from homes that are going to be torn down then it so happened that when we moved here i found the perfect mirror in the accessory building on the property this mirror was left by the person we bought the house from and i found it just waiting to be paired with the mantle and surround what are the chances eh it made such a good fit that they are literally maybe just mm, four inches difference in width but yeah this made a nice um pairing for the mantle and the fireplace around. Now, I applied these little L brackets here. I found these in, um, I think I picked them up off the curb. So I just painted them and instead of having the corners just plain Jane, I applied them to the four corners on the mirror. Then I installed these lanterns because we are living in the countryside and sometimes the hydro does go out so it's very convenient to have these lanterns on either side of the mirror so that we can use it where if and when the current goes out now down here so far the mirror was free the mantle and surround was free these penny tiles I actually picked up at the Restore Habitat for Humanity for a fraction of the price. The tiles on the earth were also bought at Habitat for Humanity. And that is how we were able to actually get this whole look for under a hundred bucks. Now we bought this um, insert. The insert must have been somewhere around 250 or so with taxes but yeah the fireplace surround the mirror and the tile it costs us under a hundred bucks and I think it looks pretty good
Now just think about what you saw in the footages. It's a massive difference and we love it. We like it a lot. Not only does it look good in the space, it's in the dining room, but this does pump some heat in the dining room and it is very nice heat. If you guys want to achieve a certain look in your space, there are two things that you can do that we did here. Well, maybe three because we got the insert on sale. So look for sales, shop at places like Habitat for Humanity, and in doing so, you will be supporting a worthy cause. And also look for places, buildings, homes that are going to be torn down or refurbished because most often than not, you can get some jewels out of them. Also, don't forget to check your big box store for Miss Tint paint because we have painted this 3,000 square feet home and we've used 99% of Miss Tint paints. And it's not too hard to put paints together to make a color that you desire. So guys, I hope you've been inspired. Thanks so much for liking, sharing my content. And yeah, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think about our revamped fireplace. And if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please, just hit that subscription button and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you can be notified of new videos with this year, 2022, tons of design and decor ideas for you. Until next time, you take care. See you in the next video.